my dear students today i would like to discuss a very simple trick uh, how can you find out the number of alpha and beta particles in a particular radioactivity like for example if you want to convert uh, what is this thorium into lead how many alpha beta decays have taken place you can find out by using this simple shortcut method for example thorium converts into lead if you add uh, some more terms some more terms like this you'll be getting for example uh, alpha plus 2 4 and beta minus 1 and 0 let it be x and this is let it be y here so if you add these two terms in this equation you can solve in a very very easy manner alphas you have to find out first so to find out alphas you have to consider the mass numbers and make them equal in a simple strategic way you just see here uh, 232 is equal to 208 plus x into 4 is going to be 4 into x plus y into 0 is going to be 0 here okay so now here if you want to find out this x here what are you going to do here now so 4x is equal to 232 minus 208 so x is equal to 24 by 4 which is nothing but 6 alphas so getting 6 alphas here okay and uh, how can you find out the number of betas here let us discuss about that so to find out the number of beta particles here what are you going to do so for example here number of beta particles you have to find out for that you have to consider the atomic numbers like for example 90 is equal to 82 plus x into 2 that is going to be 2x plus y into minus 1 which is going to be minus y you can take here so you can write it as minus y here but you just write 90 here which is equal to 82 plus 2 into x x value we got as 6 here so 2 into 6 minus y you can write like this so therefore 90 is equal to 82 plus 12 minus y okay so you can find out y is he going uh, going to be 94 minus 90 because this is going to be 94 minus 90 is going to be y is equal to uh, 4 okay so we're getting 4 betas so like this this method is an accurate method where you can solve number of alpha and beta particles can be found thank you very much